Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1107 of our trek, and it is time for our three-minute mini-trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30, A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, The Easter Bunny. Little Susie came home from school one day shortly before the Easter holiday. With major concern on her face, Susie tentatively approached her mother and said, Mom... Some of the kids at school today said that you were the Easter Bunny. Is that true? The mom kneeled down and took little Susie's face in her hands and stared straight into her wide eyes and said, Do you really want to know? Yes, Susie replied. The mother sighed, thinking of the end of innocence of childhood. Yes, dear, I am the Easter Bunny. Little Susie looked at her in amazement and with excitement her voice declares, How do you get to all those houses in just one night? Well, I hope that brought a smile to your face today. If it did, pass that smile on to someone who really needs it. For our Thursday thought, with Easter being celebrated throughout the world, sometimes it's easy to lose focus on the meaning and significance of the most joyous of all holidays. Let us cherish the risen Christ. Matthew chapter 28 verse 6 tells us, He is not here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where the body was lying. And just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,106 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally. Learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.